On the FG Wilson generators up to 220 kVA at SRP Americas, we use the Deep Sea 4520 control panel. You'll know it's a Deep Sea control panel because it'll have the Deep Sea logo and name on the top of the LED display. The Deep Sea 4520 also has five buttons on it an up and a down arrow, a red stop button, a white auto button and a green start button. If you want to confirm the exact model of Deep Sea, you can also scroll up on the arrow and look for the product and it'll tell you the model 4520. You can use the arrow to scroll down on the menu to get back to the home menu. Right now, the generator is in stop mode. We know this for two reasons. One is the little light above the button is lit each button has a little light and I'll tell you the position it's in but also on the display we can see the icon for the stop button wanting to start the generator just manually you would press the green start button you'll see a little hourglass while it's starting up getting to voltage and frequency and once it's running correctly, you'll see a little piston icon. To stop the generator, you would press just the stop button here. Make sure after you've been using the generator in manual or start mode, that you put it back into auto mode if you want it to start and stop automatically in case of a power failure. If the generator is running and shuts down for some reason because of an alarm or some sort of failure, you'll know because there'll be a blinking light on top of the stop button. First thing we need to do when we have an unexpected shutdown is to find out what's caused it. In this particular case, we we'll look on the display and see that someone's pressed the emergency stop button either on the outside of the canopy or on the panel below. The first thing we need to do is put it back into normal position, but the alarm is still there. In order to reset the alarm, we would press the stop button again, and the alarm is cleared and ready to go. 